everyone today's video is all about 3d illusion and today i'm gonna use 3d illusion on numbers and i give them a special name called as flying numbers if you see the effect so it looks like they are in air so that's the effect we're gonna bring uh, for this particular activity uh, the stuff we need is a black sketch pen three leg pencils one sheet plain sheet a4 sheet you can use or drawing sheets you can use eraser uh, a earbud for smudging and i am using this tiny eraser where uh, this i have cut it from a regular eraser and this will help me to do the erasing wherever i am want these these effects which you see where the light effects i have put i've used this eraser for that so let's get started so i have my three pencils i'm holding this three pencils one after the other this particular activity is little tricky you have to keep repeating it to get the right result and for the kids you're gonna have a little tough time holding these pencils together uh, but maybe i suggest start with two so here we go so this is the writing part now i'm gonna handle one single pencil and now you observe the steps i'm gonna use here i'm gonna join this i'm using the top two layers and i'm joining them third one is as it is okay so this is my i'm gonna use this eraser to Define this nicely, and here I'm gonna hold it, and here I'm gonna hold it. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do? So I've joined the top two layers, and now I'm gonna lighten the third layer. Why I'm doing this? I'll share the reason later, but just lighten it. let the impression be there but very light one so you see this third layer is there but it's very light the reason for this is i'm going to add the effect in the end to make it look 3d and there this particular third layer will add a lot of effect so that's why i am doing the erasing part now let's focus on the first two layers so as you can see i have okay, there is an extra line here okay so as you can see now i have a defined upper two layers and this layer is also connected like this and this now i'm going to add shades to this you can use any direction keep filling this with pencil shade area nicely covered very tricky actually to get the right effect but keep trying that's the mantra keep filling the blank areas but you have to be very very careful which areas you are putting the shade into only the top two layers i'm just doing it randomly it fast and the speed okay 
Just don't do too dark or too light anywhere. You know, once you do a lot of practice, you will understand where to add more, where to add less. Okay, so five is done. It's already looking like, you know, it's in the air. So my flying colors are getting in shape. I'm gonna turn the sheet a little bit. As I'm gonna smudge it, right, in the end, so direction really doesn't matter here. So just keep your hand stable. We'll erase the extra. Okay. Now working on the zero. See, zero will be tough to get. Really tough to get. I myself struggled it. But you know, when you practice it, keep practicing it. That's my suggestion. Because once you keep doing it, you will exactly know how your hold on three pencils will be and how you can control the movement, how you can just turn your pencils in such a way that the three pencils simultaneously are drawing. Because initially you will struggle, two are drawing, third one is not drawing. So. You have to keep practicing how to have the right balance of the pencils. Now do you see my whole thing looks in shape, nice and good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the earbud and I'm gonna start the smudging. Do you see this, the smudging effect? Nice and beautiful. Just make sure you don't touch these black surfaces, otherwise, you know, this smudge area will go everywhere and it will spoil your work. Neatness will go basically. So, I always suggest when you're doing such work, take care of the neatness, don't let it go. Now, I'm walking towards the number two. It's fun actually, you know. When you're sitting and doing this kind of work, for me it is like meditation. I really do it like I am doing something to connect with the Almighty. Yeah, that's how it is. Art is like meditation for me. And such 3D illusions, yeah, it's like tricks. So you really have to give yourself into it. And as you can see, I'm going little here and there with the smudging part, but that's not an issue. I'll just clear it in the end with my magical eraser. Yeah, my students say it. Take out your magical eraser, ma'am. So now this is first thing. Now second thing what I'm going to do is this is my uh, numbers looking very dominating on the top and the light, little lighter ones on the bottom now i'm gonna use the same earbud where i have the smudging effect i'm gonna use it and blend it over here only the blending it should look like the light effect on the surface i'm trying to show the flying numbers right so i want that same effect to get reflected on the so what, whatever it is, you know, uh, when we do a lot of artwork, uh, we always talk about light, shadow. So this particular thing will make you understand the shadow part. I might use little more shades here to get the right effect because I need to blend the lines which are there earlier. So as you can see, this is the, see, I have some lines which are very prominent. So I'm gonna blend that too. But this looks super nice. I am happy with the work. Now the magical eraser. So I'm gonna erase the extras which are there. Okay, sorry, this has erased my work. Uh, 
such things happen so don't get worked up and take the blending thing again and work on it now see when you are seeing the letters how the light is falling so for me light is coming this side same light will come this side also a little increase because it's a curved surface and i'm going to turn the eraser to make it little more neater and then here falling in the same lines now the same light is coming on number 2 also so here you go here you go and here you go see this and on number 0 as it's an oval surface so now you see this this looks perfectly nice i'm just adding a little more shades to it so that the areas where the reflection has to come look sharper and deeper so i'm just highlighting some areas to make it look this will add little more depth to the work right and in the o don't give up on the first time please that's my request because this is definitely definitely need technique and trick so here you go this is the effect you can see and i'm i'm going to use one more step because i said black sketch pen is to be used here so i'm going to use the black sketch pen here which will define the topmost line you can use this in the beginning also but i want to use it now This is how your numbers will look like, and do you see? This is how the flying numbers will look like. So, 520 as flying number. Do try at home. Share your pictures, share your comments, likes, dislikes. I'm open to feedback, and uh, I'll keep trying doing something interesting and engaging for you guys. So, stay tuned till we see the next video. Thank you.